Oh, what's up YouTube? How's it going? I'm back again for another random video. I'm going to talk to you guys today about things to look for when buying a house. Obviously, it's going to be a used house. It's not going to be brand new. If you can afford brand new, you wouldn't be watching this video. Though I'm sure uh, things happen with brand new houses, but they're warranted and they cost a fortune. But think of the stress you won't have with a brand new home. I got a nice laundry list of things that has happened since I've lived on this property. So, without further ado, Scooby Doo, I just thought of another one. I'm going to write it down. I'm going to quickly tell you guys what to look for when buying a house. Learn from my mistakes. So, you're all excited to go buy a house or a vehicle, you know what I mean? You've all had that rush to get out and Buy something nice, a four-wheeler, a boat, a sea -doo, a ring that doesn't fit for your wife, oh my god. So, let's start with a house. Let's get the main thing you're going to buy, the biggest purchase you're going to make in your life, for most of you. Windows and doors. So when I first moved in here, I was like, yeah, whatever. Didn't really care to check the windows and doors. Windows are super expensive. Uh, they could be really old, moldy. I had to go over all the windows and get rid of all the mold because if they leak moisture, that makes mold. So you got to stay on top of that stuff. Uh, you know, seal it. Uh, look for air leaks in the winter time because that's where a lot of your heat could be going out. I had uh, Amrespec come in and uh, go over my house when I got a new furnace, and they said that a lot of my heat was escaping through the roof. So. Windows weren't that bad, it was like 5%, but still, if you want to eliminate that cold draft if your bed's near a window, you want to put plastic wrap around your windows or fix the window, period. Now, they did entitle me to one free window fix, but I haven't gone through with it. you got to pay them, then they pay you back. Plus, COVID's going on right now, so no one's coming in your house. Whatever. I live near a train. That is a huge downfall for a lot of people. It shakes the house, uh, shakes your foundation. This house is over 100 years old. Though they don't build them like they used to no more. Um, yeah, so that's a huge bummer. Uh, trains are annoying. Trains are loud. You want to get some metal doors and some good windows to keep the sound out. So keep in mind, if you see a house for sale near trains, that's a good deal. It might just be too good to be true. You got a newborn baby. That train's waking up the baby, most likely. I'm not super close to the tracks, but I'm a few houses enough to the tracks that... It rumbles. What I end up doing, because I have uh, single pane windows near the front of the house, because my windows are older, I just put a 2x4 to lock the window, and it, and it, it holds it in so tight that it doesn't shake the glass in the, this old ass window that I should be replacing. Uh, most of my windows are newer, but these two windows up front are shaking. Not no more! Plumbing, definitely check your plumbing. Uh, make sure all the drains are working and such. You know, go with your building inspe uh, your home inspector for that. Remember, if, if you have a home inspector, you cannot sue him if he doesn't find something. Um, you have to sign an agreement here in Canada, at least. I think it's kind of a crock of shit, but um, you should be able to sue anybody like America. So check your plumbing. Make sure the drains are draining. I got good water pressure. Um, obviously, you don't have old cast iron pipes. You want to have uh, PVC, copper, um, up-to-date stuff. When I put a new toilet in, I found where the old um, shower hookups were, and I'm like, holy crap! Like they should be, uh, they should be uh, stuffed. So I foamed it up so that you know draft doesn't come in from the basement. Like, what were people thinking? You don't just move the shower and then put the toilet there and then use the old drain and like it was just mental so make sure when you buy a house you look around and you're like okay they half acid or they did a good job and a lot of times if you're getting a deal you gotta look out for everything uh, my house people half assed it um, a lot of people work like that you know if it's if duct tape heals it fixes it for a bit whatever right well no you do it right or you don't do it at all you don't paint around something you move the item and you paint the wall a lot of people don't think like that Anyways, roof, uh, I'm no expert in a lot of this stuff, I just learned as I went, and I was extremely excited and in a situation, so I wanted to get out. 
So roof, um, sagging roof, uh, check how old your shingles are. I got like two different colors or three different colors near the chimney, which that's like no big deal. I'm sure there was probably a leak and they were just using leftover shingles to fix it. If you see a house with 10 different colors on the roof uh, for shingles, clearly something happened there and they were just too lazy to rip it all apart and redo it because now you don't know which shingles are how old and you might have put uh, you know, newer shingles on top of the old ones or whatever and, you know, just fix it all. That's like patching up a tire a hundred times, you know. You want to do it all right the first time. So then you can say, oh, that roof is only a year old, not uh, that part's 10, the part at the front's about 20. Yeah, it's time for a new roof. So check for sagging, check for how old your shingles are. Obviously there's going to be other stuff people are going to write down. I don't expect this video to go viral. This is just my own personal input on someone that is looking to buy a home. Foundation, obviously, like I mentioned with the train, uh, check for that, check for cracks. Um, I spray foam the shit out of my basement uh, for the draft because I had uh, Emerspec come and hook up a fan to my front door and they sucked out uh, a breeze. So I had the AC running last year, or the heat or whatever, and they sucked out all my heat, but they had to do it to see the airflow and then they went through me. Through me. They went around the house with me to see the cracks and stuff where the draft was coming through that I could uh, fix. So that was nice. It wasn't terrible, but he said he's seen a lot worse for this house being from 1890 or 1900, whatever. So I fixed all that. They came back again. They reassessed if I did good. I got a discount on my furnace and that is what happened. So check for foundation cracks. You know, you don't want to buy a house. Um, it's falling apart. You gotta do what you gotta do. This was a fixer upper and I fixed her up. She still needs more work. The homeowner life is never ending. Okay, electrical issues. So, you know, you walk through the house, oh yeah, that's got an outlet, that got, that's got an outlet. A lot of older houses don't have tons of outlets. That's one thing you gotta keep in mind. And I have an old breaker box, so the load can't be handled as much as a newer home. So if I have the AC and dryer on, my dryer cracked out, my dumbass hired somebody to come here, all he had to do was flip the switch, luckily my dryer was warrantied, so I didn't have to worry about paying anything, and he reset the breaker, saying I'm going to pay, and I said not a chance, I'm not paying shit to Samsung, and all that happened was that there's just too much load, you know, uh, old knob and tube wiring, and I hired an electrician to come here to look at my stuff, um, you know, over time, the wires are so old that they just break apart. So my light switch in the kitchen didn't work after a while. I thought it was the bulbs. I replaced the bulbs, replaced the outlet. He goes, no, it's just your wire could just broke apart and fell down. So you got to assess the issue. Don't go in wasting your money on electrical stuff, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, I know very minimal electrical stuff, so you got to be very careful with that. Um, so I ended up just leaving it alone, and I hired him, and he said, yeah, that's broken. That doesn't work. Uh, if you want to fish up uh, outlets, do this and that. You know, the ventilation was uh, horrible in my house. All that stuff cost money. Uh, there was a reason why they didn't do it. Older houses, they're a fortune. Moving on. So the furnace AC, I moved in here. The furnace almost killed me because it had a leak. Because the chimney was blocked by a bird's nest and uh, gases were coming in the house. Yeah, that's not fun. It almost killed me. I was waking up with major headaches, uh, tension headaches. So make sure you check the furnace before you buy a house. Uh, mine was like 32 years old. I got a new furnace put in. Um, you know, I want to beat the shit out of the one that almost killed me. But that's done and over with. I hooked up a payment plan for that. Great. Uh, Reliance is awesome. Um, definitely do that. Uh, if your AC still works. If it comes with AC, uh, definitely check that out. Mine's fairly old. Um, but it all depends how much it was used too, right? There's lots of Freon left, you know, they can last forever. Or one day they could just crap out completely. I got lucky. Uh, about a week ago, mine stopped working. It was a loose wire. What do you know, right? So pure luck. Sometimes you luck out, sometimes you don't. Uh, furnace is a huge selling point when you're selling a house, but it's a huge buying point. So like I said, I, I didn't really check the furnace. I was like, yeah, it worked. It worked when I moved in. And after a month, it started crapping out and it died. And the gases leaked through the house, like I said. Now the alarms didn't go off because the draft in my basement uh, apparently didn't set the alarm off and I have three in the house I'm not sure why and not only I was getting the headaches because I was in the house the most so very unfortunate but I'm glad I'm still here to make some YouTube videos and entertain you all.
So check out for furnace and AC just because it's nice. You know, mine were old, my AC units from 94, and my furnace was 32 years old. So those are two huge things that you can negotiate in a sale price. But right now it's a buy, it's a seller's market, so most people are going to get what they're asking, if not more. When I sell this house, I know I'm going to make equity on it. Okay, sagging in the floor. I did not notice. You want to look for sagging in the floor, drops or dips. Um, I have a minor dip in my floor. Um, you know, you got to stay on top of that stuff. But then again, if you jack up the floor, you risk cracking your wall or whatever. You know, depending on how old your house is, it's probably just settled this way from the train, right? So I'm more or less going over stuff that's happened in my house. Not necessarily all of it, but just things to look out for that I've fixed myself. So check out the floor, you know, check out the ceiling. You don't want anything sagging, period. You know, it's little things to look for, just like when you're buying a car, you don't realize until after you've had your third beater and you're like, oh, tires are round, not flat. So check for a sagging floor. You know, um, the kids lived in the house. A lot of times when people are going to sell in the last year or so, they don't give a shit, so they run it down to the ground. And they know they don't have to do anything for it. Or a lot of people actually, like me, care, and they want to get the most out of their money, so they will make it look nice to show you that you're not a complete dirtball. Um... So yeah, check out the floor, make sure everything's intact, you know, there's not any, like, Jimmy Riggs where people go to hammering the flooring. I've seen, I, I have that in my house, and I went to go walk, and I almost fucked up my foot on a nail because the nail was hanging out. The board was coming up, and they nailed it down instead of just ripping out the freaking boards <laughs> and fixing it. Like, water got under there or something. I don't know, people are dumb. Uh, how the house was uh, treated, yeah. So when I moved in here, you know, um, cobwebs everywhere. The furnace filter was never changed. It was probably a rental. Or they hated the landlord. Um, so that's another thing to look out for. Um, you know, patch jobs, if there's holes in the walls. You know, just look at things like how the people lived here, how much you got to spend to fix everything. That's another huge thing. Don't just be like, oh, wow, the screen door doesn't work. If the screen door doesn't work, that's just one thing you notice. You can imagine all the other things that that person that lived there didn't care to do. Um, I need a coffee break. <laughs> okay. So the cost to fix things, like the lawn, so my yard was pretty messed up. I pulled out all the weeds and stuff. So then I just had mud. Fertilizer's not cheap. Grass seeds aren't cheap. Uh, you gotta consider everything. Yard work, you're doing that for free. That's just your time to fix up your own property that you're not gonna make any money on. So. Consider the yard work. Plants are not cheap. How long has this video been going on? Holy crap, 12 minutes. Uh, plants are not cheap, uh, so but they make the yard look nice. Bricks and stuff, everything like that. It all adds up, folks. Cement, I gotta fix my step there. It's, it's a little fucked up. Um, with motor, you can just, that's not hard to do. Uh, mold in the tub, you know. Check along the seals, how the tub was put in. You gotta stay on top of mold. You don't wanna be breathing that crap in. Black mold, do not buy a house. Look at the ceilings in the bathroom. Look for everything. Uh, make sure pipes aren't leaking. That we're leaking for months or years. And you're like, oh, it's no big deal. It's just the vanity that's, uh, that's uh, a little bit wet with wood. Uh, like the wood's a little wet. No, that's been going on for years. It's probably leaked down through the, your ceiling in your basement and there could be all kinds of shit in there. And they could have just passed it up and been like, oh, fuck it. Le a, le a, le a leaky pipe, no big deal. Can't see it, no big deal. You know, out of sight, out of mind, that's not how life works. But to some people, that's how life works. Driveway cracked, um, you know, if there's cracks in your cement, you want to weed be gone that crap and use some 30% acidic vinegar if you can with a bit of soap that sticks to the weeds and you will get rid of that crap. Make sure it doesn't rain for a couple days and those weeds will be dead, hopefully. Or you can spend the fortune and get Weeby Gone, whatever you want, or Roundup. Um, check for termites, mice, ants. I moved out my dishwasher and there's mice poop. I did not see any mice since, so they might have set traps. So check for animals, uh, termites. Um, there's, I had an ant problem for a while. Not no more, because I got some ant crap. So Thanks for that. Uh, a little bit of help. I had my friend do that for me, so that was nice. So I got rid of the ants. I uh, haven't seen uh, major bugs in the house, just spiders and stuff, you know. Um, keep your house clean. They don't like dirt. They don't like, they like a dirty environment. So if you got things blocked off, like I, I, I knocked out bird's nest, I trimmed trees, keep the, keep the animals away. 
Um, if you look for wasps, anywhere wasps can build a nest, look up in your siding, the little crevices, and just block them. As soon as you see them go in, block them. You know, don't don't give animals anything. I put a because my chimney is only a, an exit, uh, an exit for uh, my gas fumes for my um, my uh, hot water tank, and my furnace goes out the side of the house, the exhaust. So I put an owl up there, and the birds stayed away for about a month because they were shitting everywhere up there, and they were coming across my deck and shitting everywhere. And now they don't really come back anymore, and I'm going to put an owl on my fence, and then the squirrels won't run across because, you know, plastic owls are good, and it keeps animals away, so remember that. Uh, I talked about the walls. Appliances. So my house came with appliances. Figure out why they're leaving them behind. Make sure they all work. Test them out. Uh, my one fridge clicks on constantly. When I had the dryer guy here, he told me that that is normal for that fridge then to click on, and I'm like, it is so annoying. Like, I thought it was broken, I was going to buy a thousand dollar fridge, and he goes, no, these things are bulletproof, it's old, it'll last forever. I just got to deal with the clicking, but hey, came with the house, saved me a bit of cash from buying another one right now, so I'm going to use it. Um, so yeah, make sure it's not too good to be true. Um, you know, check the dishwashers and stuff like that. Um, that's another huge thing. If it comes with a dishwasher, as mine did, that's a huge perk. So I'm going to swap out the old one, put a new one in. Uh, counter space you want to have lots of that stuff but I'm just talking about the major stuff right here uh, yeah junk left behind so we're gonna sum this up how long has this been going on okay 16 minutes so my house was left with junk clearly that's a big no-no you can go after a realtor for that um, I was pretty pissed off but I had a hookup at work to get rid of the garbage so I was not concerned and I had a pickup truck if you don't have a pickup truck you don't have any connections to get rid of garbage you go after that mofo you should be leaving garbage behind take it all whatever uh, you agreed on in your um, agreement when buying the house, none of that crap should have been left behind unless you wanted it, you know, for scrap metal or something. But for people just to leave garbage bags everywhere, that's just rude and inconsiderate. The, my fridge was a disaster. This, like, you gotta really consider when people leave, they either leave mad, they leave poor, relationship, whatever. They could have just left the house in a complete mess. So, you're the cleaner, you gotta go in, paint the walls, clean it up. Oh, joys of owning a house are so fun! Just watch what you buy, people. You could be excited, or it could be a nightmare. <laughs> I pressure wash the fence, you know. Um, pressure washing is good. And a little bit of paint and pressure washing. Um, painted the front uh, railing. Uh, pressure wash the fence and the deck and the house. And it looks a lot brighter, a lot better. Uh, clean the windows up, you know what I mean? Like, just little things, people, that, uh, that, that the new homeowners will look for when uh, purchasing your house. And sum it all up, uh, property lines. So... I have a tree in my front yard that runs, I have the property line, uh, I have it all on paper, but it runs right on the property line. I'm pretty sure that tree's more on my property, but if you and your neighbor get along, you leave it, or you say, hey, I want to chop it down. If he says no, you come to agreement, or you call your local city, they'll come out, at least where I live, and they'll measure your property lines, because you should have at least three or four feet off your house. That should be all yours, but I won't get in to any legal agreements or whatever with my house, so I'm just saying in general, check your property lines. Your old neighbors could have got along really good and built a fence right up to your house and used your house as a stability there, not a pole. And every time it's windy, it can shake your house. Like, little shit like that, right? Or as my neighbor, uh, in the wintertime, snow was breaking off her metal roof and it was landing right on my truck. But I have a really long driveway so I can park my truck closer to the road. I told her, hey, you know what? We get along great. It's no big deal, but I'm just letting you know if you dent my truck, now you do know, and I'm going to be asking you to pay for it or go through my insurance company. And she said, how can I fix that? And I said, you need to put more slates on your roof so it doesn't break up in such big pieces. Or to figure out not to have that at all. But it leaked, it just boom, right on my driveway. So older houses are built very close together. You know, vehicles are very small and non-existent back then. So times have changed. We've gotten somewhat better design and houses are now parked in front of your house versus on the side blah 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 so there's just a quick overview of how to fix everything i hope uh that's helped in some way and you don't get beat you're not going to get beat for your money because you're never going to lose out on a house because it always makes you money it's equity it's better than renting um but unfortunately when you own a house you become the plumber the electrician the gas man you're everything you gotta have a sense for everything um, you know, my AC is on and it leaks a little bit of uh, condensation in the basement onto my furnace, so I gotta get that fixed. You know what I mean? It just never ends. You check the stairs, check everything. You don't want to get sued in any way. Um, 
you know, when the storms, when it's windy, the storm flexes my fence, you know, old things are just going to fall apart and it's never going to stop unless you own brand new, you lucky mofos. So there you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment on this video. I appreciate all you. And I'll talk to you real soon. Hope this video helped. Bye for now.